Hello and welcome to an episode of The Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth Plus. Afterbirth, afterbirth Plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited. Um, I haven't... What is this? <laughs> We're going into the daily for August. What is it, 15th? My eyes are failing me. It's late in the night. Oh my, what is go... Okay. Like, literally what's going on. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but yeah, it is a Thursday. Tomorrow's a Friday. That's super exciting. Speed up. Okay. Definitely necessary. We were under 1.0. Um, but yeah. Playing Afterbirth Plus on the Switch, which I feel like is my only... It's not really a leg up, per se. <laughs> I mean, so the only reason that would be... Uh, a good thing for you is if you have a switch as well <clears throat> and if you have binding of Isaac you can uh, you can add me as a friend it's pretty much it uh, other than that it's pretty much it, it, it's all like <clears throat> a me preferential thing I like my roguelites on my switch because I could play them all the time you know it's extremely selfish Wait, fuse cutter. What does that do? <clears throat> I think I'll take the range. <laughs> we don't need the range. Sorry, I ate some tortilla chips before starting the video. Oh, probably a bad move. <clears throat> so yeah, this is being done recorded after setting up everything uh, post Windows update. And if you've ever gone through a Windows update, my condolences to your sanity. Uh, this one was the massive Windows 10 one where, I don't know, they, they changed how the start uh, start menu looks. Um, it's, something got messed up with the Logitech software as well, uh, and I just, uh, yeah. It's just a lot, okay? It's a lot. Hold on, is this Tammy's head? This is the, uh, Okay, this is gonna be a, a tough trade-off for the daily, but I think I want flight instead You know it, it, Tammy's head is obviously super flashy and People that are gonna get like the, the fastest runs. They're probably gonna use that sure So I'll, I'll go with the unpopular choice <laughs> a lot of you guys are probably like, up oh, turning off this video. But if you're watching this for the Isaac content anyway, you're, you're um, I applaud you. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's I'm still I'm, I'm in the learning phase, okay. And if you want to watch somebody who's in the learning phase of playing Binding of Isaac, then here it is. Here you go. We're probably gonna be in the learning phase for a lot of these games. We're, uh, we're checking out Dicey Dungeons on the streams, um, we've, well, <laughs> on the stream, the single stream that happened. Um, that is posted though, or it should be, is it? Yeah, 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 the Tri-Vision video is up and live, if you want to check that out. Worked hard on that thumbnail, even though it might not look like it. <laughs> it's... And I, I use the, oh, let me get a sip. <coughs> I'm not dying, I promise. <coughs> that tortilla chip wanted my life. But you know what? <coughs> Just like roguelikes that want to take your sanity and your life in the game, I say no. I deny you access to my life force. You spit out spiders. What? Okay. But yeah, it's um, it's been a heck of a week. Uh, I said I was gonna go back into streaming as much as I could again, and um, I haven't really lived up to that yet. I'm sorry. Uh, we're, we're trying. We're trying. Hold on. What is this thing? Sin up. Uh, more damage. Okay. Um, more life. I don't really like this item. It's like a chance at another life 
Yeah, let's keep on going. <clears throat> yeah, so before I uh, before I got into my office today, <laughs> office, that's the fancy name I have for it. Um, where, uh, of the area where I stream from, if you do your taxes there, I feel like, I don't know, you can call it an office, which is, I guess, now that I'm, you know, in hindsight, I don't really do my taxes from here, I do it from the, from the laptop, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'd like to call it the office instead of, like, the game room, the boys room. It just sounds like a bathroom. That's no good. But yeah, before we started... Isaac's Fork, what does that do? Okay, um, yeah, before we started stream, or attempted to start stream, which just became a uh, troubleshooting session for the Windows update, I watched the first half of The Dark Knight. <laughs> Mostly because I keep on quoting the, uh, the, the, I kept on quoting the Joker saying, you know, I've got a plan. It's simple. We kill the bat. And I've been quoting it all wrong, of course, you know, as I, as I tend to do sometimes. Just be, it, well, people do that all the time, okay? So it, it's not just a me thing. You know, you, you take movie quotes, song quotes, and you just... I like to call it putting your own flavor into it, you know? So that you don't get, uh, you know, called out for plagiarism or like... <laughs> get copyright struck. No, it's, it's not the reasoning. No, it's just because you... it's how you remember it, yeah? But when I watched it back, dude... Heath Ledger? He's way more believable than anyone could ever be as a Joker. Uh, honestly, it's... Um, and sadly, we can't see it again, sure. Maybe he was a little bit too believable to, like, himself. You know, it's a really sad reality. Uh, let's, let's see. Ooh, there's a dagger here. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Turn your enemy. Shade, it follows. Uh, do I want this guy? I, I don't think I've seen this thing. I reward an empty vessel. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've got two black hearts from that. But yeah, Heath Fletcher was super impressive in that movie, and it's it's not it's not an overrated movie. You know? If you like Superhero movies. I, I'm not even sure you'd like The Dark Knight, honestly, because it wasn't made for superhero movie fans. It was made for like movie fans, you know. I don't know. I don't know if there's a distinction there. <laughs> I mean, especially in today's day and age, if you think about when The Dark Knight was made, was that like 07, 08, something like that? We didn't have Iron Man yet. Well, hmm. I think Iron Man may have come out right before The Dark Knight. So that... Oh, that year was a good year for movies, man. You got Robert Downey Jr. doing his thing. Getting, uh... That was my phone, by the way, if you heard that. <laughs> Let me turn off the notifications on that. Okay. <clears throat> I usually have my Bluetooth hooked up, but I soaked the life out of the Bluetooth while watching The Dark Knight. Do, 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 do. Um, do we want to use any of these? Let's get this one, sure. There's nothing good in there. Alright, let's blow this one up. And we got some coins. Okay, I'll take it. One thing I will say about the Dark Knight. When I was younger, and I, 
I think I saw it around like 17, 16, something like that. Um, which wouldn't make sense. It would line up to when it came out. I don't think I watched it in theaters though. I watched it like <laughs> I, I got a DVD from the library and I watched it there, you know? It was one of those situations. I watched it on my laptop and it blew my mind. I'm like, why hasn't anyone taken me to the movies, you know, and done the, you know, made me watch this movie because it's so good. Just like as a not even just as, as a hero movie, like I was saying before, it's it's good as a, you know, standalone in comparison to other, you know, masterpieces. Yeah, I don't know. I think part of it is just because it has, uh, it has like four different plot lines <laughs> that, inter that are interwoven. <clears throat> And I'm not saying that even makes a good movie. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, man. We're just... We're rambling about it. Because I was so impressed. I was re... I was re-impressed. If that's a word. <laughs> I was like, man, it's not all smokes and mirrors. This movie is great. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so these guys have to pop open, right? There we go. What do you have? Spirit heart. Oh, we don't need it. We don't need it. It's absolutely been a reflex maneuver, just purchasing it. Okay. <clears throat> There's a spirit heart there too. Spirit heart. Tortilla chip is still attacking our throat. Excuse the coughs. This run is incredible, by the way. <laughs> oh man, what's the question mark one? Okay. Um, and this is the daily. So if you're if you're playing today, I think this has now. Actually, this only has like seven more hours, and this isn't going to be posted until. If those hours are done, I apologize. You know, this isn't uh, one of those situations where I can record the video as soon as the daily gets posted, you know? And honestly, this, this kind of helps me. It helps gauge if I actually did re uh, did good. Did well? Did... Bill? <laughs> if I did, um... If I did better than... The people that have already done it because it's been up all day. Up all night. Do we need to do anything else on this floor? I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's move onward. How many floors do we need to do? Okay, we've got two more after this one. Necropolis 2. That sounds like a cheesy movie. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's a button. Okay, let's get that. There we go. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's go into here. And so, yeah, what I was saying about me watching it when I was like 16, 17, um, The Dark Knight. I the, the parts that I remember were like uh, the the parts with explosions pretty much, and maybe um, you know, maybe I'm basic like that. <laughs> oh, explodies! <sighs> or I was rather, and I'm not saying I'm like my palate has been matured or anything like that either, but it it kind of feels like that. Like I can I can tangibly see it. Uh, at this point, because when I was watching uh, watching it today, for maybe the third time watching The Dark Knight, I started appreciating a lot more of the backstory of like uh, the plot building. You know, it, it's a lot more of like uh, it's a climb to to the escalation. I'm like, ooh, this is a yeah. So that's how that happened. Okay, okay. 
And I, I might just be explaining something about um, <clears throat> things being worth rewatching, especially if it didn't have your 100% attention. If you if you know me at all, I I don't like giving a lot of things 100% of my attention. You know, you know, besides the wife, the kid, yeah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, but being a human being to them. Don't try to don't try to flip this on me on my morality. I don't know. I don't know. Y y you're probably like, no, you're fine. I, I wasn't saying that. You're putting that all on yourself. Yeah, and I might be. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, the um, the ooh, the teenage brain was just like explodes. This is a good action film. Okay, you're gonna explode. Speaking of explodes. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. Are you. Is that a, you a wizard? Alright, let's check out what all of these are. What's the question mark for? Okay, well. Oh, the black hearts can go over the silver ones. That's a new trick. Who oh, you call it a... Okay. Oh, well, let's not get Google to sick us. <clears throat> Alright, let's face Mom. Let's see how we do here. This isn't the last level, though. It looks like we have to go all the way to the heart, which is perfectly fine, yes. Especially with how easy this run has been. We're 14 minutes in. I think we do... I think we, we're gonna do boss rush? Looks like. Alright, Fate Chosen. Let's, um, let's check out the deal to, uh, the, Oh, Krampus. Deal with the Krampus. I guess that's what we're doing. It's your head? Hmm. It's tempting. Do I lose my flight? I do lose my flight. Is that worth it? I mean, we gave up Tammy's head. Which is basically a better version of that. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay, it's got the sickles. We got whatever that is. We got tears up. Let's go with this sickle. It's penetrative shot and damage up. I just want the, I just wanted the damage. Maybe I'm being too much of a damage uh, uh, aficionado <laughs> instead of using any other negatory words you were thinking. Uh, I should probably not assume the worst of your thoughts. Although I am accustomed to, um, you know, I've been, I've been on this Twitch thing for the past two years at this point. Two two years and like three months. Yeah, so I, I know a little bit of, uh, about, the, uh, about the psychology of watching someone play a game. <laughs> Lots of bosses though. Hope you guys are enjoying seeing all of the different bosses in this game and how they get wrecked. I mean, Let's let's not get it twisted. We're um we're not displaying any sort of uh, showcase of skill. <laughs> None of that happening here. <laughs> this is literally the daily that was just like, hey, you wanna you wanna have fun today? We got we got some fun for you today. <laughs> just go ahead and kill some stuff. Oh wow. You are a tanky boy. Oh. Can't believe we actually lost hearts here, but it's fine. We're, we're not like We're not like starving for health. Woo. We had a 
like a campfire summer outing thing uh, party at work today. Um, and it was, uh, it was pretty good, you know, mostly the food, it was, they had like cookout food, like s'mores and sausage, hot dog type things. Um, but the, <laughs> the, the part that like got everybody a little bit peeved, I guess, you know, they, they were making a big hullabaloo, people use that word, uh, about axe throwing and archery. You know, they were like two of the main big points of this uh, of this event, and there there was like a there was like a raffle to win tents. But the the main thing was supposed to be this archery and this uh, <laughs> and this axe throwing. So we get out there, and there, there's some long lines. You know, people are like all over the place. You know, people are doing some can jam. Good old can jam. If you haven't heard of it, it's awesome. Uh, people are doing the. Oh man, I'm I'm blinking on the word with the sandbags and the, oh the the holes with the corn. There we go. That's what it is. The corn hole. And uh, um. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Literally nothing can kill us here. Uh, we don't want that thing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Good stuff. But yeah, so the, the long lines for the axe throwing and the archery were blocking the fact that it was like a rubber axe. <laughs> With like Velcro on the tip. Are you kidding me? And I, I mean, to be honest, I was kind of questioning, like, how are you going to make this safe? <laughs> you know, I don't trust uh, all of these, uh, all, all these people, like, they, they serve alcohol at these events as well. So, like, I don't, I don't trust these, um, possibly inebriated, uh, co-workers. You know, with axes and arrows in their hands. You know what I'm saying? It's... It, it, it's... I... I was gonna make that an excuse to just not be there. <laughs> no, it's... It was a good time, overall. But, uh, but those... Speed. Uh, that, that was gonna be like a... Like a... Contention point, I guess. You could say. So I was kind of happy that it was like a Velcro axe, but also the archery was... I, I think they had magnet arch <laughs> archery. <laughs> so that it would stick, but yeah, you know, you can't really do any damage with them. Because, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, what a bummer, right? But he... but... oh, wow, that room is freaky. So yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, "Oh man, they couldn't shell out for the for the real stuff." But then I thought, you know, I thought a little bit more in it, and I'm like, you know, it, it wouldn't be a wise move to put actual weapons <laughs> in a in a workplace environment, even if it's like an after after work type thing. Still thinking about those s'mores, though. Man, they had those uh, they, like hot pocket s'mores. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Let's see if we can blow all of this up with one bomb. Nah. Close. Close. What does this do? Damage up. Mm. Won't well, we wasted that? <laughs> That's what I thought it did. But I, for some reason, I, I for a split second there. And I lost, uh, I, I lost control over my index finger. Um, <laughs> for a split second there, I thought it would teleport us like this thing did. Okay, let's go and fight that boss. Skolex.
There we go. That's how we do it. HP upgrade. You know what? Let's lose our HP first. Uh, to what though? Call to the void. Cool. Let's grab this and boom. See, we're we're learning, dude. Some people, you, you know, you, you might have had your doubts as to whether or not I would learn how to play this video game, but here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Most of my, most of my rock music knowledge is either from Tony Hawk, <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater, or uh, Thug, or Guitar Hero. So uh, any any references <laughs> um, are usually in those. Man, those are good games, man. Uh, those were the golden age of like music video game pairings, you know, because it was still uh, super new and super fresh. But that's kind of the problem <laughs> with like remastering those games, is because it was so new. You know, this is a little bit of insider of the business for you. Wow! Wow, that was awesome. Okay, that that was wow. Yeah, yeah. So the insider of the business. <laughs> the reason why like Tony Hawk can't be remade, or like SSX, you know, the good stuff, is because music wasn't um being copyrighted properly. It was all super fickle contracting. So. It's very unfortunate. You know. All we get are like knockoffs or like we get Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD. <laughs> or THPS 5 which was an absolute disgrace. Can I get an A man? I'm not sure if I'd even get into a skating game at this day and age, though. I mean, I kind of tried with uh, with Thug recently. I mean, recently is a strong phrase. <laughs> it was within the the last uh, <laughs> within the last five years, sure, or within since I've started streaming. So I guess that's definitely more than five years. We have eight luck. Wow, we've got a lot of luck. This is a crazy run, dude. Hope you're enjoying watching the fireworks, and uh, maybe you watch this in ten years, and you're like, "Man, I really like the explosions and and all that, but uh, I prefer the backstory, the plot that that made the, um, the explosions happen." I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to link this <laughs> into the. Dark Knight story <laughs> while we're at the last boss. Just wrap it up with a bow. <laughs> okay, let's use the skill just because we can. There we go. That's how you do it. Flawless. The boss here. What is this? Uh. uh do I want to do this? I. Uh, okay. You've convinced me. Um, this doesn't... I've never been here. I think this is what they call the hush fight. And I also remember hearing from a lot of people, don't do this until you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, in case you didn't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so let's see what's in here. Oh, let's grab... Is this a razor blade? I don't think we need... Dull razor. Okay, sure. Wait, no, no, we lose our flying. No, 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 And then maybe some extra dippus. From Sister Maggie. Um, maybe some pills here? Pills here! 
Luck up, sure. Oh, that's not how you activate it. Luck. What's addicted? Alright, here we go. Hush fight for the very first time. Like a hush fight. I mean, this is the run to do it, you know? We were saying this is there's there's um there's absolutely nothing challenging about this run. We're about to find out. <laughs> if I can lose to hush at this point, with like this many black hearts, with this many everything. You know, a lot of this is just like a, a war of attrition. <laughs> Honestly, see if uh, if if the boss can break down my into the gungeon dodging skills, and then also me just basically just fighting time. Looks like yeah, it's not too bad so far. Maybe he hasn't activated God Mode yet. You can see that there's a Telepills on the bottom right. We're not planning on using that, I promise. <laughs> I... <laughs> Once I realized that that was there, I was just like, wait, hold on, let's not accidentally push the right bumper. I feel like that's something I would do. Okay, we're almost at half at the halfway point here. Feeling good. Ooh, wow. Oh my, okay, there's the hit. All right, we are now halfway. This is a trippy fight. What this hush boss is all about, anyways. He's a blue blob coming from the ground. It looks like he's trying to escape. Oh boy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Do 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 do. Right. One fourth of its health left. We got this. Get cleared. That's how we do it. <clears throat> well, this is kind of like a. It's, it, it, I, I don't want to say it's a slow fight. <laughs> you know, I might, uh, I might run into some trouble here. Like with those waterfalls, those are kind of new. Don't go chasing those. I wanted to end with the story that I went to GameStop today. Uh, to pick up some, to pick up a spare Joy-Con because I'm sending three of mine in, and I, I'm left with a single left Joy-Con. I was like, all right, let me go grab a right one, <laughs> just cause I can't really live without my Switch. If you knew me at all, um, but yeah, the the, the guy was um was pretty nice I guess you know he wasn't a bad dude wait how do we how do we solve this <laughs> I'm saying this like it's like a puzzle where do we go from this oh there's a thing here uh you know I'm fine with a 30 minute run but yeah basically what I'm trying to say is I'll try to finish this story in, in another mission another run another thing Oh, we're in Sheol. Okay, so we got some time. We got some time. So he was, uh... <clears throat> we were just talking about the Joy-Cons, and I wanted to see them because I... <clears throat> the last time I bought Joy-Cons from, from the game stops, the right bumper eventually gave out on me. I was like, you know, let me just test this out and see if it's, like, sturdy, see if it's good. Um, I didn't even look to see if it was, like, scratched up and stuff, which it actually was pretty bad but it the the buttons clicked you know the the buttons clicked properly and I that's that's really what I cared about um 
But yeah, so I was telling him how uh, I basically have drift on all of my Joy-Cons. He's like, what? I haven't seen that at all. And I was like, well, lucky you. How much time do you, like, spend on your Switch? He's like, I'm, I, I play my Switch a lot. I was like, okay, so just, uh... It, this isn't meant to flex. This is more kind of admittance and like me accepting my um, my wrongdoing essentially. <laughs> my addictions is uh, I told him I have like 700 hours uh, on Warframe <laughs> and I had like 500 hours on on Monster Hunter on basically the single Joy-Con, my blue Joy-Con. I was like, that's... Everything is broken on that Joy-Con. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they don't realize that at Nintendo and they're like, eh, yeah, we're not gonna replace this one. You just need to buy a new one here. Well, jokes on them, I already bought it. I guess jokes on me because I, you know, already wasted my money. Um, I heard some good things about the the new switch though. The battery life seems to be like a lot more drastic of a change than uh, than what they're saying. What they were initially saying, they were like it's a ten percent difference. People are saying it's double the battery life. So it might it might be worth it the swap if you got like seventy five bucks laying around. GameStop's doing like a trade off type thing. Cause they gotta find some way to to stay in business. You know, honestly, I'm gonna miss GameStops to an extent, for sure. Just because it has like uh, it's one of the only stores where you know gamers can rise up. No, it's it, it's the only store where you're for sure gonna be talking to a. Uh, Okay, not for sure, but like there's a more of a chance to be talking to a fellow gamer on the other end of the uh, of the spectrum. What? Where are we? I don't know what this is. Uh, <laughs> why? Why, SpongeBob? So th I guess this is what happens when you fight the hush. There's like all this extra stuff. I don't like it, dude. Uh, and we have five health left, you know, I was being reckless because I thought we were going to be done after shield. But yeah, so basically, uh, when I heard about the, uh, the the managers, the white collars of GameStop basically getting getting laid off, and uh, you know, I, I, I felt for them. I was like, man, that sucks. You know, it sucks just losing your job. But these guys are probably not gamers. <laughs> and I, I know that's probably ignorant for me to say. I have no backing of that information, by the way. It's just, you know, it's it's the, the guys at the office that keep the business alive. It just, it feels like they don't have the experience. How did we just get all the bone hearts? Was it the brittle bones? Might have been the brittle bones. Um. Oh. Okay. Who? Yeah, I, uh, I was initially like, oh man, yeah. At least it's not the people at the stores, you know, the the people that I interact with. But that's not true, is it? The the stores are closing down, so like, <laughs> those guys are also losing their jobs too. So it's. Yeah, it's a double loss. But the real thing I'm gonna miss is just, just that uh, that sort of community feel that I that I uh, just experienced when I went to GameStop this afternoon. You know, I was just like, I spoke in a language that he, you know, that no one else would understand. <laughs> Not just he would understand, but like no one else would be like, oh yeah, 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 seven hundred hours in the game. Yep, that's that'll that's that'll do it. <laughs> you know, it, it's just um, I don't know, man. 
It's tough to find that, I guess, is what I'm saying. In, in the adult world, maybe you have a lot of friends in high school or like just buddies that you could chum with and say these kinds of. I mean, it, I have that friend circle too, but like finding other strangers. Stranger danger. I don't know why I said stranger danger. Dude. Not to get on this tangent, but I had a stranger danger uh, nightmare <laughs> recently because, okay, so you, you've heard before the madness that it is uh, listening to nursery rhymes over and over and over because that's that's all that'll, you know, keep your, uh, keep your baby calm and entertained. Although she's kind of like entertaining herself recently. Just climbing all over the place. I'm basically just grasping at straws right now for, for things to talk about. Because I, I didn't plan for 41 minutes of content here. <laughs> Love toots. Okay. Oh no. I Yep, we're gonna go back. We need our horsey. Oh boy. Yeah, let's grab that back. Oh, no, 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 wait, are you, okay, there we go. We have to go from the top. Where, like, you never, never stop. Can you go down low? All the way to the flow? Who's the lamb? Okay, all right. Freaky looking enemy. Oh, 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 psychic shots. Uh, you're almost dead, you're almost dead. Please be the final boss. Oh my lord. <laughs> we are 267. That's like not that much higher than usual. It looks like everybody had a lot of fun on this run. Time 520 seconds, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry for missing the streams, but I uh, hope you enjoyed these videos while uh, I'm, you know, slacking off I guess now uh, the the, uh, the video quality for the webcam uh, you know what just check out my stream the, the next one when it comes out probably today this is Friday when this is posted so all right cool if you like the video hit that like button if you want to watch future videos uh, obviously hit that sub button can you tell I haven't done this in a second um, but cool I'll see you in the next one see ya